Uh, just need to buy myself an ice cream here. It is Drake Day. <gasps> I meant to get the mint one. We'll eat this one quick. All right. Need this one. That is more my style. There. Now we can go to Drake Day. So we are just here at the spaceport, uh, Crusader Sta Spaceport, or I guess Orison Spaceport. Um, damn, I can never remember the name of this. Let's see, they have it over there? No, just come back soon. Anyway, the Space Center. Uh, as you're getting off the ships, you'll come out over there. And this one's in a different place. This isn't at the Vision Center. This is a different one. So typically you can just... Uh, guy made a liar out of me i was going to say you can typically just follow the running people and they'll show you where to go uh but as you come out you'll see these tracks here you'll see the drake uh template there and then you'll see drake is over here so they're just and it's fittingly night um so drake has a reputation in the verse as being kind of a not totally on board legal corporation uh they are a real corporation they operate legally within the ue but they've got a very shady reputation as making ships that a lot of pirates use and once again we gotta do the double elevator button trick try this again hopefully it works wait for it uh oh this could be a problem Wait for that to close. Hit it again. There we go. Always works on the second button push. Uh, Defense Con. August Dunlow. That's the name of the uh, the platform. Um, dog hair in my mouth. Um, so Drake, again, has a sort of shady reputation. Uh, not totally unearned, um, but that's one of the reasons that drake is kind of shuffled off to the side here as opposed to being in the vision center is because the ue doesn't really like them and kind of sees them as antagonistic and drake kind of plays that up in lore um in reality or i mean in the reality of the game you can kind of think of drake as almost kind of think of them as a soviet era or soviet style uh company their their vehicles are kind of bare bones um and we'll kind of get into that as we go through that i mean there's just exposed cabling everywhere you're probably gonna run into pipes over your the head they, they don't really care about that that is that is their whole deal that they just pretty much you take it or you leave it they don't even have ejection seats in their cockpits you open up the top and jump out and that's your ejection seat uh so i mean they're they're not concerned about creature comforts at all they're concerned about doing the thing as efficiently as possible and that's pretty much their whole deal uh it looks like um this is every drake ship not just the quote-unquote military ones so uh we got all four cutlass variants going across there we got the caterpillar here and we got the uh vulture there how about we go down we look at the cutties we look at the caterpillar they usually have a back room Hopefully by then the Drake Mule will be open. If not, I had the video at the beginning where you could see where it is. NPC seem a little derpy on the server, so hopefully we don't have a crash. If we do, I'll start it up again. Um, so the Cutlass, which is the one that we're going to start with here, I think this is the Cutty Black should be. Yeah, this, this is the base Cutlass here. And uh, this one started as kind of a heavy fighter it was supposed to be smaller than the freelancer and then as they sort of produced it it kind of ended up um being 
the same relative size as the Freelancer when it was supposed to be probably more contemporary of the uh, Titan. Um, and that is a theme that kind of carries through Drake. If you look at the Caterpillar, when they were first concepting that, its uh, sort of tagline was that it was the evil Freelancer. Now you can see that a Freelancer is probably about from there to there in scale on that thing and look how far it goes so yeah it grew a bit in concept but anyway so we'll go to the uh we'll go into the cuddy here so the cuddy is kind of the best swiss army knife in the game i'd say it's a good size its hold is huge and it kind of made the freelancer obsolete when they did this this updated uh, version of it it's got six jump seats right here and they work um, all the buttons on it work now so you can open and close the door here I don't think there's one on this side there isn't uh, the side doors open up um, which if you're at a sketchy landing zone might be an easier way to get out but just looking at this this is a lot of ways to egress out or get back in if you need to and again you can fit two rocks in here i think you might be able to fit two cyclones you'd have to get a little creative with how you parked them um but they legally fit so they wouldn't be bouncing around the back of your ship when they have those mechanics in uh it's it's a good size hold can carry a fair amount of cargo not quite as much as the freelancer but close um that's pretty much it for back here on the black um i will go ahead and show you one interesting thing about the pilot and co-pilot seat at least interesting to me <laughs> in day glow there let's see if i can get that angle again that is the turret that's on top you've got two bunks again this kind of hits oh gun rack uh, this kind of hits my, um, the warning that I had in, I think it was, was it the Reliant Tana, where I said never trust a ship that has bunks and doesn't have a toilet, or even a toilet, there is no toilet in this. There are rumors that they might try to, like, carve one out here. I think what would probably make more sense is to stuff it into the corner right there um but yeah no toilet so if you have to go in the night you just stick your butt out that door into space and we'll let her rip uh so this up here is the cockpit and um it doesn't look like you'd have a good view here but when you get into the seat it actually lifts up so this is the pilot seat you can kind of see you've got decent view and because of those windows down there you can actually see down which is nice um one thing i wish they had done with this especially since this is kind of uh soviet styling is this is the co-pilot seat which at the moment doesn't do anything but one day they'll be controlling um they'll they'll just be controlling the panels or transferring shields that kind of stuff but this is the co-pilot seat and look at your view up here so you've actually got a better view in the co-pilot seat than you do in the pilot seat i almost wish what they would have done is um made this the pilot seat and this the gunner seat uh but they didn't so here we are uh, but that's the Cuddy Black. It's got, um, don't quote me on the, the guns. I'm not a big dogfighter, but it's got, I think, size threes on the bottom that are fixed and then size two on top there gimbaled. Uh, you can pull the gimbals. Uh, let's see. So there you can see the top one. So those are size two, but they're on gimbal. So if you pull the gimbal, you can have four size three guns on it, which respectable. Um, yeah, and it's it flies nice. Um, 
it can go VTOL, so the, the engines can actually point down, so once that maneuvering is in the game, uh, will be pretty good. It accelerates pretty fast. All in all, pretty good ship. Um, you can use it for bounty hunting. Uh, probably don't want to dogfight an arrow or a gladius in it because you'll get ripped up, but if you could put someone in the top, you'd probably be able to give uh average pilot pause um it's it's respectable uh so this is my theory is that they made this for theaters of war that they just needed um a bad guy drop ship and so they they rolled this out uh in real life money it's way too expensive for what it does um it's no 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 don't rent that no 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 where's the button there's the button open there we go that was close uh so this is the drake dropship but it's just got a ridiculous number of guns all over it but they're all like size one ballistic guns it can fit like 20 people back here uh and this thing opens and those guns come out and you can use them again they're size ones it's it's not a good ship don't if you're putting 20 people in this thing it's it's a death trap people could pop this pretty quick it's not i mean i guess people could bail out of the cutlass pretty fast but um for the money there are much much better ships oh and you got this gun here and you got that thing up there yeah it's it's covered in small guns so it's it's just a really really weird ship uh and yeah i i agree with a lot of the community not worth the buy there are other drop ships that do drop shipping better uh this is the herald which is a uh, data runner, but not like the MSR. It actually carries little missiles. Um, oh God, are we going to get attacked by Pedro music again? Probably. I think trying to figure out where the, the missile pods are because they're not typical missiles. This isn't in the game yet, um, but this is one of the things they'll have is these missiles called spikes. I think they're up there. Uh, but it can spike another ship and then um, steal the information. And then because the thing is basically <laughs> a cockpit strapped onto a pair of gigantic rockets, this thing moves fast. It is a very, very fast ship. Um, I always dug the inside of this ship too that once its functionality comes in, I think that it'll probably come into its own. So you can sit here, and it's it's called a support sh uh, support seat, but there's only one bunk, so I mean, this this is a solo ship. Uh, but I mean, it, it does have a bunk, you can log out in it. I think it's got, now I'm regretting not wearing a helmet for this again. Uh, cockpit's got, pretty good viz again most cutlass ships do or cutlass most drake ships have some pretty good visibility um but fun little ship to fly around in um don't get into combat with it really uh i think it's got like a size two up front and size ones on its little stubby wings it's not the most maneuverable thing in the world uh but it is extremely fast um you could probably run a box mission in it. Just don't forget the tractor beam because you can't currently carry those boxes upstairs. So you'd have to open the door, tractor beam the box, throw it in, and then climb up the ladder and get in. Uh, but all in all, fun ship. Not a lot of people fly them because there's just not a lot you can you can do with them right now. Like their gameplay isn't in the verse yet. Um let's run back and we'll check the back then we'll go over there that's the buccaneer over there which i do want to talk about 
we'll do the buccaneer how about we will we'll finish up um no i i definitely want to finish up with the vulture since it's dropping in the next one i haven't been in the vulture yet so um that'll be a uh that'll be a complete surprise to both of us what the inside looks like although i mean i have been following development this is the drake dragonfly uh i think this is actually the paint job no that's just the black paint job um it's got two size ones on it uh the cool thing about the dragonfly most uh, or all of the other bikes um only carry one person no come on stop doing that step back so i'm not accidentally ring no you have a guy that can sit here and a person that can sit there so it is the only space bike that you can have that you can actually carry two people on which is kind of nice i mean granted it's it's big but i think it's thinner than the hover quad um which is consolidated outlands uh but it's longer um so i mean it is a very long vehicle so while it'll fit in things width wise sometimes length wise can be a problem but i believe that fits in the titan freelancer so i mean any anything with a cargo bay around that size it'll it'll fit in it's pretty good uh let's pop around over here so i mean that's that's one of the better um oh okay yeah i forgot about that one um yeah, one of the better space bikes especially if you're you got two two people tooling around the verse uh, okay so this is the um oh man why am i drawing a blank corsair right yeah corsair so this is the drake equivalent of the constellation and um it is an exploration ship and for an exploration ship it is going to shoot out your engines and explore your cargo hold with its armed people uh but you can see like four big guns there it's got two size turrets or two side turrets that um i'll show you the other one over here um that in the original concept they said they're just gonna point to the sides you're, you're not going to be able to maneuver them to shoot forward uh we'll kind of see what they do with that there's been some speculation that they might bend on that and actually because having guns that can shoot from your sides isn't super useful um and i think it's got you can't really see them here i think it's got another gun there or it's the drake parking sensors um it's also got a fair number of missiles not as much as the constellation constellation has a beat there uh definitely has more missiles but this one has more guns and bigger guns and so um if it, the general theme of drake is that they're generally pretty fast not super maneuverable and they have a lot of guns so good pirate ships you can kind of come in hit something and run away um i don't think there's anything else over there no that's just the wall uh so we'll go over here check this i will meander back behind and see if there's something behind that but i seriously doubt there is this is the kraken so this is drake's capital ship and what this is as you could probably guess from the looks of it this is their carrier so it's got two I think they're categorized medium landing pads right here. So one there and one there. And then it's got three small landing pads on this side. So right there, there, and there. So the medium pads can hold a, um, um, a cutlass uh, pretty comfortably. These can hold anything like a buccaneer gladius or a... Uh, getting one arrow pretty easily it's got a bay on the inside for dragonflies which i think it can carry something ridiculous like 12 dragonflies it's got a fairly substantial cargo bay and um places to work on the ships big bridge it's got big turrets all over it so it's got one there one there i want to say it had one up here but i'm not seeing it and then one on the back i think it's got ones on the bottom again drake big engines big guns uh usually not 
Um, they're kind of known for having weak armor, but since armor isn't in the game yet, hey, knock yourself out. In theory, this thing can land on the ground. I mean, they have pictures and it kind of looks like a uh, little bit like the caterpillar out there. It's kind of got a ton of legs that come down from it. Um, but CIG has said under no uncertain terms, don't feel like you're going to be able to take big ships down a gravity well without consequence. So you'll probably need an SRV to pull you up. Uh, got a docking port there and it's got one on this side. So same thing. You can get in and walk through that and get into the ship. Um, so this is roughly the size of an Idris and probably a similar power level. Um, the Idris carries two fighters, so this one beats it in that area, but the Idris also has the rail gun, and so again, rock, scissors, paper. It's kind of kind of CIG's whole bag. So it's a carrier, a little bit more vulnerable. It's gonna be less maneuverable. It's a gigantic capital ship. Um bring your buddies, or it's gonna be pointless. Don't try to solo the thing. Okay, I'm going to kick myself if I miss some Easter egg back here, like a special hat or something. Nope, no special hat. Now you don't have to check. Um, yep, dragonfly. Fun. All right, moving on up. Get your usual swag. What I got on the table? Nothing. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do the buccaneer. Um We'll do the Buccaneer, the Caterpillar, then we'll do the uh, the blue and the red. I'll show you those. Uh, so the Buccaneer, um, you'd have to ask the more experienced dogfighters why this ship isn't in the same conversation as the Arrow and the Gladius. Uh, because, I mean, at least on paper, it seems like it's as good good i mean it's it's got that port up there you can switch it out for i believe a dual mounted gimbal but it's an enormous gun i want to say it's size five so i mean it's got two size threes here and it's like a size five up top um really fast really maneuverable i think the shields are weak on it uh that that might be the downside. Oh yeah, that's right. And it's got wing guns too. So it's actually got five gun ports on it. Uh, so again, Drake's sort of modus operandi is lots of guns, big guns, moves fast, can't take a lot of hits. Um, so it's, it's stand-up power isn't very good, but can just dish out a ton of damage. And so when the Cutlass kind of migrated up the size to become freelancer sized, they needed to make a fighter version. And that's what this ended up being. So the Buccaneer kind of took the place of what the cat or the, what the uh, Cutlass was supposed to be. And then the Caterpillar was supposed to be similar in size to what the Cutlass is. So they just, the early days of CIG had a lot of size creep. Um, but anyway, this is the Cuddy, or not the Cuddy, this this is the Buccaneer, and no idea why it isn't part of the meta conversation. Uh, probably a good reason. I'm guessing because it can't take too many hits. Um, fast, lots of guns, fun to fly. Uh, guessing it can't take a hit, and that's why people don't fly around in it. So this is the cutlass blue um okay i lied i'm, I'm gonna talk about these two cutties then we'll do the caterpillar caterpillar is kind of a fun one um so the cutty blue is the police van um bounty hunter cutty version so i mean it's got docking rings on the side uh i want to say it has an emp don't quote me on that uh, but what it does have is an airlock here. So that's kind of nice. So you'll notice that the Cuddy Black, this is just open. You didn't have this. So you can open that, come in here, and then you have 
these, which I think there's, I think there's six on the side, so you can carry 12 people, kind of Han Solo Carbonite style, just shove them in these things and carry them around. Obviously not in the game yet, but Bounty Hunting Tier 1 is dropping, I think 318 is when it is currently planned for, could shift around on the roadmap a little bit, but that's the idea. And I think the, yeah, no change here. I don't think the cockpit's any different. Uh, well, you do have these, and you got lockers. Um, the beds look a little cushier. Uh, but yeah, the bounty hunter version. So, I mean, you can run out, get 12 bounties, shove them in here, drop them off at Clesher, and make money one day. Not in the game yet. So on this one, so I mean, even though Drake has a reputation as being borderline criminal, this is kind of the versus answer to an ambulance. So the RSI Apollo that I showed you yesterday is kind of a mobile clinic. This is more of an ambulance. The beds in it are only tier one, again, like the blue. You've got an airlock back here to kind of protect it. You come in here and you got two tier one medical, or I think they go the other way with medical beds. I think they're tier three medical beds and tier one is the ones that can basically bring you back to life. Right now, I'm pretty sure you can, I'm not sure if you can still use these to respawn. Let's see. Regeneration, you can. Okay, so for right now, you can use these to respawn. That is not going to be the case in the future. Do not get this ship if you want it as like a respawn ship. Uh, we're at tier zero in medical. It's going to get a lot more complicated, and these beds will be like the crash cart in an ambulance eventually. You'll be able to stabilize someone. You'll be able to stop bleeding, something like that. Um, might even be able to, well, you wouldn't be able to resuscitate them, but these will be tier three beds. So these will be the lowest tier. So ambulance, not a clinic. Apollo is the clinic. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll run up here just to check. Yeah, it's exactly like the blue. Um, again, two docking rings, got the open back, got an airlock, uh, cutty reds, decent. Um, it's got a scanner up top rather than a gun turret. Um, doesn't really have a purpose in the verse yet for the next couple patches until medical comes up. It's not the worst thing to run um, bunker missions in because you can respawn in it now. Uh, just keep in mind that that's not a long-term thing. So this is the Caterpillar, and this is carries just slightly less cargo than the C2, the Hercules that we saw yesterday, Crusaders. Um, it has some unique drakey things to it, so you, you might notice that this looks a bit like the Herald or like a spaceship, and you're not wrong. This is the command module, and the whole thing eventually will pop off and be able to fly away and be its own ship. Um, this is also the bridge, and we'll go take a look at that in a second. Uh, let's see if I can actually open this. I can't. I can probably open it from the inside. Oh, did they add buttons? They did. Look at that. Um, so eventually, this is uh, another thing that will change. So all, all of these open like that. But what will happen eventually is that this ramp will or this this platform will actually lower all the way to the ground and be down here and so you can load things onto it like an elevator and it'll lift up to where it is now and then you can just move it into the hold so um neat features again this is one that they kind of rolled out and you can use it now uh definitely it's it's a great cargo runner you can actually solo this ship pretty easily it is uh nastier if you can have a couple people in it because it's got a fair size turret there and a fair size turret up front all get a little distance oh hey the mules out we'll take a look at that too so 
there's the other turret right up there these are not guns those are parking sensors uh i think they were supposed to be guns in the original concept but they later just said they were parking sensors there's no parking sensors in the game so they're they're for decoration so this is the drake mule um these little arms here come down and it can carry one scu box up front those are the the bigger boxes it can carry three of like the hand boxes on either side so six total and one more scu up here uh the forklift part of it this part isn't working yet so right now it can only carry the one scu um when physicalized cargo gets in the game that's gonna be a big deal uh you are gonna need this thing to move it around uh, to move around cargo it's in your hangar it, it's gonna be a big deal i'm trying to see if there's little panels i have heard from people I think that's it right there but i don't want to rent the thing i think if you hit that there's a gun rack or storage uh there's your components back there um actually that might be the gun rack right there maybe fuel port so it's got a fuel port right oh we'll do it a fuel port there you go it's got a fuel port probably every ship in the game when it gets its gold standard pass is going to be getting one of those uh so i will how about we go through the whole ship and i'll exit out the front um so the caterpillar is probably um a lot of people have kind of shifted over to the c2 caterpillar definitely still has its place it's it's got pretty good acceleration pretty good top speed again that's kind of drake's calling um this is the way you get in so i mean until those elevators come all the way down uh there are docking rings and other ways into the ship when you're in space but this this is the way you get in when it's on the ground um so we'll go we'll go back on the on the top uh so i want to show you this so this is uh one of the habitation rooms you got a couple beds you've got the table here um with little screens over it so again you're going to be seeing this again in the corsair probably a better version of course your pooper is right here in the middle of the room because it's drake and they hate freedom got a sink stove uh trying to remember what this is elevator access yeah same thing um gun rack um we'll come back through there eventually uh, so the way you get up, so this is the elevator that we came up. The only way you can get back is coming back this way. Um, you can go in here. This is engineering. That brings you down to your lower turret. Um, you have kind of easy access to everything here. You can go up that ladder to get to upper engineering. I'll show you that in a second. So here's your stairway. You come up here and again that elevator is like right down here so we've basically just kind of looped around uh this room up here not again there's a lot of things in this ship that aren't on the ship yet this controls a tractor beam eventually so you'll be able to tractor beam cargo that you totally didn't steal off a ship and basically just move it into your cargo hold again all of these doors open so you can basically just open this whole thing and then just quick roll with your tractor beam your big ass tractor beam on this and load the thing pretty fast uh which even if you're doing legal cargo runs this thing is probably gonna be more cost efficient than something like the c2 uh because it can load itself and with a big tractor beam it's gonna be pretty efficient so yeah again caterpillar is a good ship right now i think it's going to be a better ship in the future so now we're going to go look at the um the server room in the upper engineering bay so this one does have servers uh i'm not sure if this was cig just kind of future proofing it for 
computer blades or CPUs or something like that, or if they're actually intending the Caterpillar to be partially a data runner, an info runner, um, kind of like how the uh, Mercury Star Runner was. It obviously doesn't have as many servers, but if that's what these are, in addition to all the cargo you got up front, and this thing carries a substantial amount of cargo, um, might be able to carry data too. It would be a nice find. That's that's where that door goes. Um, this is uh, power supply, I think. I'm not sure how you're going to get to it. This this is probably going to need a gold standard pass where they kind of make all that stuff more accessible. That's where that ladder goes to that was downstairs in engineering component housing. You can kind of see that getting actual spare components up here would be a bit of a bear. So at some future point, they will probably be doing a gold pass on this and fixing that up. Uh, but again, right now, in its current state, this is a uh, this is a really solid ship. This was kind of my daily flyer for a long time until the uh, MSR dropped. Um, and when I want to make a fair amount of money, this is typically my cargo runner, and I've got a C2. Uh, I'll show you this in a second. That's kind of echoes the room below and goes along the top. So that's that's the way we'll get out of the ship. Um, yeah, that, that leads over to the tractor bay room. This leads up to the bridge. So we'll come up here. So you'll notice that you got dual doors. So this is airlocked. Uh, so this whole section is the command section and it can break off of that ship and go flying on its own, either as a giant escape pod or, um, as like a scout ship or something that you could fly down to a planet land, negotiate, Again, like the Cuddy, it's got two seats. Here's the pilot seat here. You got pretty good vision, but keep in mind it's asymmetrical. So anytime you're looking over here or trying to see something that's down here, you're not going to be able to see it because the ship is blocking you off. You got great view off to the port, though. Um, again, you've got a couple seats here, which you can kind of see. Serve sort of ancillary stations uh don't do anything yet but one day they will then we can go down this and again because this is a self-sufficient sort of sub ship um i want to say there's a toilet in here maybe that's it i think that might be it Let's see if that opens no and that looks like electrical you probably wouldn't want to poop on your electricing or electrical just Live and learn with me. Uh, you got a bunk here. Well, there, I'll just highlight them. And I'll say there's another one up above. Uh, you got a dining table. Actually, hang on a sec. I'm going to throw on some armor. This is, uh, this is darker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, come on. Nope. All right. Avert your eyes, children. Okay, put that on. Armor. Actually, I guess I could just do that. Yeah, fine. I don't need to. I don't need to be fancy. Okay. So yeah, you got two bunks here. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, so now we can kind of look around. Um, I could swear that actually was a shower, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway, not important. Moving on. Uh, so you can kind of eat here. So I mean, this is basically just an away ship. You've got another station here that you can kind of watch things. I'm not sure if there's going to be a tractor beam on this side. Um, there might be. Uh, but that other side is definitely the tractor beam side, but you could also observe things from this side. So still useful. And when this thing is landing on its own, okay, yeah, this doesn't open right now but that's the door to the outside so that's the way that you'd get out of this ship if it were undocked uh again not in the game yet but eventually that'll be um i forget what tech they're waiting for that it's not too far off though so maybe next year we might be saying that we'll see uh, i think somebody else might be up here with me um eva so that's a docking ring 
um yeah you can see eva hatch right there uh you can get out there or get in if you're in zero g uh now you're in the cargo base so nope 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 back up um so you've got this catwalk that goes across uh you can see the cargo bays are fair sized each one is got a door on either side of it so you could compartmentalize them um one of the things they've talked about is um let's see if that'll actually open it yeah there we go so you can open things from here these bays were originally sold as being modular uh so in this case this is the base module which would just be running cargo uh they have sort of theory crafted cig has not just us and they've actually even white boxed out a bunch of different things like medical crew transport uh salvage repair um even little launch bays for dragonflies which you can actually do now i could launch a fair number of dragonflies i had a thing that i kind of joked around that'd be fun to load up like 50 people with the handheld rail guns and just line them up on a side and just do a broadside on someone would be fun i'm probably not a good person again air locked uh so i mean you can open up one to space when atmosphere is in the game and you won't be venting the entire ship which is kind of nice again you can open up each side so yeah you can see that opens up again these can will eventually be able to lower down to the ground uh both sides will um so that you can more quickly load things in same thing so you got come on get back up there ladders do grab you and are kind of annoying which is why i don't usually come up here so you got four of those modules and then you've got this up here which is the front and that comes out and lowers down and same thing that is a platform that will eventually lower down to the ground and you can load things in there um, this really is more meant to be for dragonflies but you can when you completely fill this thing with cargo um i believe it fills that up too but uh there's your turret that's up in the front and we will hop down here now so hopefully the ladder does grab us we'll go out here and that's the front um then we can just drop off this so you can see this right here will actually lower to the ground um and there'll be a little L there that you can lift cargo up and in or people uh but yeah that's that's the caterpillar a uh, great cargo runner just pretty pretty good ship all around you can log out in it right now it is a good ship if you got two friends you want to go along and you want to get into cargo running this one is as good an option as the c2 you can run more cargo in the c2 i'd almost say if you want to run solo actually both of them work but if you got three people, this one's probably better than the C2. If you're going solo, probably the C2 is a little better just because it's the, the turrets on the C2 aren't anything to write home about. Okay, so this is a fun one. This is the Vulture, and this is the one, as you might be able to guess by the name, this is going to be the salvage ship. And tier one of salvage is coming with 318, and if you look at the, um, oh, hey, we can check this vid if it's the Kraken vid. Uh, nope, that's the steel version. Um, anyway, if you check the roadmap, this uh, salvage tier one is pretty well on schedule. I mean, I think that they could conceivably drop it in 317, although it'd be buggy as hell. So they're, they're doing the right thing by playing it out and waiting for uh, 318 make that the salvage patch um but it's a single seater it's a starter we'll go ahead and open this up lights off what lights cool yeah like i said i haven't seen this one before so that's the open button nice 
So um, this is a solo salvage ship. So we'll go out, find Rex. Um, actually, we'll, we'll start at the front because that's sort of where the process starts. So you can get up to the bridge that way. Again, haven't played with it, so I don't know how well it'll actually work. This ship actually hasn't dropped in the game yet. It's not dropped until 318. Um, it's going to have little lasers, which don't look like they're in yet, but it's going to have salvage lasers that come out here that'll, you'll have whatever you're salvaging sitting in front of you here. And these two lasers will sort of run across and hoover up all the stuff on it. Um, drag it back through these things. <laughs> Somebody talking to me. Hey, how's it going? I'll wave to him. Gonna be cool and send game. Yeah, so. I always, always meet people in this game. I love it. Uh, so this right here will open up and it's kind of like a grinder or something. It'll just kind of get um, anything you're trying to salvage, you'll load it in there. So let's uh, pop back here. So now that you kind of get how the process works. So juicy stuff is up here, kind of gets chewed on, swallowed, comes in here, and gets processed in here. Let's open up this. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess you can't see it. So you kind of have this little window where it'll create boxes. And uh, oh, let's see if I can... No, the button doesn't work. Uh, but it'll create boxes and spit them out here, and then you can put them in the cargo hold, and you have little boxes of salvage you can either sell or reuse. Uh, so let's go upstairs. So I haven't seen this yet. Um, this is the living area. Let's let's look at this. So you got some sort of storage there. Quantum drive, so those are your components. Gun rack, of course, because it's Drake. And it's Star Citizen. Put pistols up there. Got your bed. Got, I guess that's probably a food processor. More components. Yeah, cramped space, but... And there's your cockpit right there. I'm assuming... There should be open door. There you go. There we go. Okay. So uh, if I can get around this, well, I'll we'll sit in the chair and get out and see if that does anything. Nope. Can't do anything yet. Uh, but you can kind of see uh, this is your cockpit. You're going to have pretty good, pretty good viz. This is the salvage equivalent of a prospector. So let's see if I can jump over. Oh, yes, I can. Um, so, I mean, it's it's just meant to be a small ship that gets you started in salvage. And then something like the Reclaimer is the end game. So we're going to be getting a couple ships in the middle that'll be like freelancer size and constellation size. But right now, this is the one that's on target. It's got two size, two guns, I think, or maybe size one. Not going to be a dogfighter. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down this. Let's see if it actually... Nope, it doesn't. I just get to drop. Uh, but yeah, Drake Vulture. That's all of Drake's stuff. Um, I think that truly is all of their ships. Uh, they have a fair number and a good variety of ships. Um, so if you kind of like the aesthetic, that's just kind of like open bars everywhere and open insulation stuff like that just kind of utilitarian bare minimum um could be the manufacturer for you again the cuddy is kind of the swiss army knife of this game like uh i would suggest most people get like the uh titan as their starter set or their starter ship and then just earn everything else in game but all in all yeah, I, I really like the Drake line. They're they're not my favorite, but when I'm suggesting ships to people, if they have a little bit more money to start, I say get the Drake Black 
or the Cuddy Black because um, you'll be able to earn the other ships pretty quick and you can try out a bunch of different game modes in it. You can log out in it. It's kind of future-proofed outside of not having a Shoilet. Um, but yeah, all in all, good line, fun to fly. They're fast. Uh, when armor comes into the game, they might fall short uh, because in theory, that's going to be their weak point. But we're probably maybe a year away from armor being a thing and they'll always have shields and you can always upgrade the shields. So don't let that kill the dream. Um, well, that's Drake. All right, people. Thanks for jumping in and watching this. And I think the free fly is at least going through Monday. It might go through next week, but definitely through Monday. So, um, yeah, grab a friend, drop in, have some fun, rent some ships. Uh, you'll be able to rent everything, I think, tomorrow. Um, you see me out there, shoot me a line. Uh, catch me next time. Bye.